Hey there fellas, today I'm going to show you how to actually make your own LUT file with the Logitech and make it nice and smooth. So, I will also be sharing uh, my LUT file that I created with this Logitech, but we're going to go over the two softwares and things like the programs that you're going to be using on how to achieve and get your own LUT file. Now, I usually like to keep my camera on top left, but for today's purpose, so you can see clearly, I'll just put myself on the bottom. So. Uh, if this annoys you, it is what it is, right? But now, first thing you got to do is I'll put link down in the description. We have overtake.gg and you have load generator for AC 0.15. First thing you want to do is click on this. It's actually a hyperlink. You click on the wheel check. It's going to download the wheel check. And then you just click on download and you're going to download the load generator for Acero Corsa. Then now you have your logitech right here you could see with my gopro we have the logitech next thing what we're going to do is i'm going to extract here in this folder the wheel check that we'll use uh in a moment i'll also extract the lid generator just to prepare it uh there's some very important things that i want to uh cover now in a lot of videos you'll see because back then i remember the wheel check just stopped working for some reason it never got them worked I'm like, what is wrong with this program? It's not up to date and these idiots are not like updating it. It doesn't work. The secret is that all these people don't tell you is to go in the game for the wheel check to work and generate a goddamn documents file. Because it's like, okay, go to the documents folder. There's no file. No data from the actual wheel check. Not saved anywhere. The secret is make sure you go in the game. So for this purpose, I'm going to launch the game. Then I'm going to use my Windows button for quick access. I'll let the game be on its own. So I'm just going to simply give me just a second. We're going to simply click drive. That's that. There you go. We're in the game now. And now what we're going to do is let me just open OBS as well so I can see what's going on. If you guys can see, okay, you can see. We're going to open wheel check. I'm going to move the wheel check right here so you guys can see. And now we have our joystick, whatever, right? Whatever we're using. So we're using Logitech G923 or G29, like I had before, or 920, whatever you're using. And now what you want to use is step log two linear force test. Why linear? We covered very, very much on this channel. We want linearity we want consistency things to go gradual so for most consistent tests you want to use the linear force so we're going to select this you can usually use max count 50 you can use 100 you could use 450 and you could see that just for showcase purposes i'm gonna use this 50 and you could see that our steering wheel now or logitech has started to uh, calibrate itself and it's getting all the data of the turning and you could see even in uh, my application in game we see the degrees room 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 and it, it goes more and more so in a matter of time it's gonna stop it's gonna take a while i'm not gonna lie but in the meantime uh i want you to understand that i've done a few tests guys and honestly i tried with the lot file that i generated with the settings and i tried literally with gamma and the gyro and honestly guys the gamma with the gyro for me is just the best i tried i drove misano i tried for 10 minutes just non-stop practicing with the with the car on the track and so on it just something didn't feel right so and uh that's that so there you go now this is done so what we can do is we can simply just exit the game next thing we want to do guys as we're here we're actually i'm gonna open another folder we're gonna go to documents boom once you go to documents do you see this file right here that's the log file guys we need so once you know where's this log file you want to come back to this folder that i've piled up all the stuff get to the folder where's your lid generator open this folder open the lid generator dot exe and then now you want to open and find this log once you open this log there you go now what you want to do is save the lut in the acero corsa cfg so you pretty much want to navigate 
to the CFG folder in the documents. So like you want to go here, documents, the set of Corsa, again, documents folder, CFG and save it there. Where's the CFG? Come on. There you go. Boom. And now we're going to call this uh, for the sake, just G923 YouTube LUT. Just so I know it's the, the video LUT that we're making. Um, there we have it. That's our linearity. Now, next thing that we need to do is we go to content manager, we go to settings, and now want to change gamma to LUT. And now want to import our LUT. So now when we go to import LUT, it, uh, the content manager automatically goes to the CFG folder of the documents. That's why you want to save it there. And there's our YouTube LUT. You load it, boom. You see? pretty good and pretty linear very nice honestly you could experiment with it for example the things that you can do uh you could put max count for 50 you could put, put max count 100 150 you could put 50. uh there's also uh long ago i used other people's lots but i would not recommend it especially uh, i use uh, rasmus lots i think they're still on overtake guys i use all kinds of lots that made the wheel literally start to crank up like crazy the sounds were horrible i damaged my wheel i literally damaged my logitech g29 to the point where one of the teeth was like completely uh how to say worn out and it was slipping so they were like the teeth don't bite anymore so you can imagine uh it, it was very bad that's why i want something that's gentle nice still gives you enough force feedback so you understand exactly what's going on with the car with the terrain that you're driving on anything all the information but it's not heavy and crazy or damaging on the wheel that's my goal you want to have good bad, like great performance while also being good on the wheel that's the goal for me so for me gamma plus the gyroscopic effect does the job. These settings that I've shared on uh, the Discord itself for the Logitech, that just does the, the job for me great. But if you want to experiment with the LUT files, feel free to go ahead. You could experiment with uh, the LUT and, you know, the gyro as well. Uh, give it a shot. It's not it's not bad, but I guess, guys, it's uh, also goes to personal preference. Just my advice is, if you're going to go with the LUT file, generate your own LUT file and really don't bother with other people's lot files. Uh, you just want to make sure your wheelbase is safe, right, guys? That That's all I want to say. But for me personally, I tried all of the possible scenarios, and the settings that I've shared on Discord for the Logitech are just like, nah, for me, they, they, that's great. I, I literally went in after testing the LUT, I put the Gamma, I put the Gyro, I went in and like first lap and I just changed the whole track, no problem. I'm like, oh my God, I get the info. I know exactly what angle I am. Like the car doesn't overtake. It gives me all the information of the asphalt and stuff that I, the grip, everything. It's just, it's just amazing, like nothing more to say. So to not prolong the video guys, in a nutshell, that's what you want to do. If you want to do another test, you could put max count 450, whatever you want. And the wheel is going to keep rotating until like it calibrates to 450 aside, whatever. But Again, feel free to experiment with it. And in a nutshell, guys, that's exactly how you use the wheel check. Make sure you're in the game, play with the max count so you can calibrate maybe more accurately, see what works best for you. Try the load files. If it's not your cup of cake, go with my settings with the gamma. I just love gamma for anything. I use it on my Trustmaster. I tried it on the Logitech. I'm pretty happy with it. I wish it didn't bust my old Logitech with the load files and I use the gamma. But again, I didn't have the experience back then, right? So you just jump into the sim and uh, you're pretty, you know, everywhere. KS, so much information, you do mistakes. And that's why luckily I'm here that I can guide you now to not do my mistakes and follow my mistakes. So you damage your equipment and you can save quite a few bucks on, you know, buying a new one. Like I had to literally replace to, okay, I busted my wheel. I'm going to replace with the trust master. Right. And uh, then I don't know even how to maintain my trust master. Uh, like you have to go through all this nightmare. So that's that guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video.